Hello. Ooh. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about wigs. Now, let me start off by saying I am not a professional when it comes to wigs. I've only been wearing them for about a couple years and styling them the way I enjoy for about a year. Needless to say, I do not have an extreme knowledge on them, so some of the things I say or do may not be proper, but I want to make this because many of you requested it and I got the basic knowledge down, so I think I can help you out. Before we get into it, if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you like my video and you like my channel, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps my videos out a lot and I really appreciate it. And lastly, all the links will be listed down below in the description, so anything that I'm talking about in this video will be listed down there. Now on to the video. General information. There are many different types of wigs. The ones I'll be mainly talking about are synthetic lace front and hard front wigs. What's the difference you may ask? Well lace front wigs are created with a mesh cap so it looks like oh, messy. So it looks like this when you first get it. All of this lace in front. They come in many different colors to best fit your skin tone. All of mine though are transparent. Now, lace fronts are designed to give the appearance of natural hair as if it's growing straight out of your head. I could go into more detail about them, but I'm going to keep it brief only because many of the brands I shot from just sell basic synthetic lace front wigs. So there's no need to talk about the extra details when I don't even have the wigs to talk about them, you know? Now, hard front wigs don't have that lace material in the front. They literally just have a blunt edge where the hair stops. Now, many hard fronts have bangs like this one, where, as you can see, no lace, nothing to cut. It just has bangs right in the front. Not all hard front wigs come with bangs. Some come just like this. No lace in the front, just blunt edge. Don't get me wrong, these are still beautiful and you can still customize them to make them look natural, which I'll show you later. How much do wigs cost? Well, they can cost anywhere from 20 bucks to over a thousand dollars, but it all depends where you buy them and what they're made of. Most hard front wigs I found go from 20 to 70 dollars with a sweet spot of 50 bucks. Oh, this is all Canadian by the way, I don't... <laughs> Most synthetic lace fronts I found go for between $50 to $150, sometimes more, sometimes less. You can also get human hair lace front wigs, but that will cost you a pretty penny. Prices range up into the high hundreds, even thousands, so I'm not going to be discussing those because I don't own any. I wish I did though, they are so pretty. Now I can hear you saying it now, what brands do you shop from? I'll tell ya. Now, a good amount of my wigs have been gifted to me over the course of a few years, which I am very grateful for. Even though some of the brands have used me and not paid me in compensation, but we ain't gonna get into that. But I do purchase my own wigs at times, so I have a mix of both. So, onto the brands. First up, Powder Room D. Love, love, love them. They are such a sweet company and they also have a amazing array of wigs. They are a bit on the pricier side, but they do have sales going on here and there. So with any wig brand, if they do have pricier wigs, make sure to check out their sites because they might have a sale going on. Next up, Webster wigs. Now I have purchased every single one from them. I've never been gifted one, but I keep going back because they have such a huge selection of wigs, a lot of unique ones, and they're really good quality. Now, those two brands make up a lot of my collection, but a few other brands I enjoy are Uniwigs, Maripass, Annabelle Wigs. Very good if you are looking for anything vintage. I mention these because they are my favorite brands that I reach for daily, and I think that they are amazing ones to start off with. I have no makeup on, as you can tell, which means we are styling wigs. First up, lace fronts. So the one I have here is brand new, haven't worn it. As you can tell, the lace is still intact. Now we're gonna go through the whole process of cutting the lace and styling it. It's gonna be a bit hard because I don't have a place to put it but I'm gonna try and show you the best I can what I am doing. So first off, I use these tiny scissors. You can use any scissors, but as long as they're sharp enough, they should work. So with the scissors, I cut directly up the center of the lace, as you can tell there. And then I carefully cut all the way down the left side and all the way down the right side. That is the left side and that is the right. 
And there you go, there's no extra lace on the wig now. Next, I put on my wig cap. There are many different styles and colors of wig caps. The ones I have here are beige and they are like a nylon material. You can get these ones that are more holy and then you get these ones that are not. If you're wondering what my hair looks like now after a year of growth, this is what it looks like. Look at that. My hair was like to here at the beginning of 2020 and now it's like to here. So I personally put on both these caps. I know that that will probably give people headaches. Hi, editing me here. Yeah, just wear one wig cap. You don't need to wear two. The only reason why I do is because I have a pet peeve of the wig cap coming off while I'm wearing the wig. It doesn't do anything. It just annoys me. So when I wear two wig caps, it secures it in place and it doesn't come off. But it's really not necessary and it'll probably increase your risk of getting a headache. So I highly don't recommend it. <laughs> I just said what I was doing because clearly you can see me wearing two wig caps and it'd be weird if I don't talk about it, you know? But anyways, moral of the story, don't listen to me. Uh, wear one wig cap and on with the video. So you just slide it on like this and you just do this. <laughs> that was a great explanation. So basically you just slide it on and I tuck my hair back. You want the wig cap to lie as flat as possible on top. If you have a lot more hair, I would recommend braiding it and securing it at the bottom, then putting a wig cap on. And this one, I just do this. And that's what I do. So I have a widow's peak, so that's just gonna be like there, but my wig's gonna cover that. So your sideburns and the hair just like at your temples. The wig cap doesn't really cover, but usually when you put on wigs, it will kind of cover it more. Putting on wigs, just turn them upside down and then like put your head like into it <laughs> and then flip it up like that. So the easy way is with these little spikes. I don't know if you can see that. These little spikes right here, you just flip them and then kind of like tuck them underneath the wig cap. That will secure it. And yeah, if you just want an easy method, there you go. This is the easiest it gets. You just put the wig on, flip it, no glue, no nothing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go the extra mile just a little bit. So now what I'm gonna be doing is cutting baby hairs. I'm gonna be using these little scissors again and this thin comb. I do wanna make it clear that laying down baby hairs is not a new thing. Black women and Latino women have been doing this for decades. I do not by any means take credit for the style or technique. I wouldn't even know about it if it wasn't for black women on Instagram and YouTube that I, I follow and admire. I grew up having my own type of baby hairs. I learned this beautiful technique from, like I said, black women I watched on YouTube and on Instagram. I don't always use this technique on my hair or on my wigs, but I do like to, especially with wigs because I feel like it makes the wigs look more natural. Again, you do not have to do this. You can just leave it like this. So what I'm going to be doing now is cutting them. So this is basically what you want. You just want it to look really see-through and very thin. So what I do is on an angle, I lightly cut downward. You don't want to bluntly cut it off because that won't look good. <laughs> just gradually cutting downward on an angle and then if you have to go back in and cut them a bit shorter, do that too. There. Now you can't see them, but they're there. And that is what we're working with. My widow's peak still, still comes through. So what I do now is I pull the wig back. I apply got to be glued all over my hairline. Now you don't have to do this on the sides. You can just apply it to just the top of your hairline. So I air dry that for just a tiny bit. Wait till it gets tacky. Now for this next part, I know a lot of people use a toothbrush. I do not have an extra one. So I just have these disposable mascara wands and I feel like it does the trick. And then I just bring the wig down 
And now that it is down, you can hair dry this if you want, but I'm gonna lay down the baby hairs first and then go in with the hair dryer if I need to. Got to be glued on this little mascara spoolie wand and I just lightly bring down the hairs. So now that your wig is all applied, your baby hairs are laid down, you can now start dealing with this mess. I'm gonna start off by brushing it using this wide, wide bristle brush. I don't know what it's called. You want to be gentle with it. You want to brush from the bottom all the way up, kind of like your natural hair because these, if you brush them aggressively, they will get very frayed at the ends. So you want to take your time brushing out the ends and then continuing up to the top of your head. So now that it's all brushed out, you can literally leave it like this. But what I do is I try and perfect the curls or waves that are already there. This technique only kind of works for pre-done curly or wavy wigs. Not so much straight wigs, obviously. There are heated tools that you can use to style wigs. There are many different methods of styling wigs, curling or straightening them. This method does not use anything other than a brush hairspray, and these little wig clips. So what I do is I lightly brush it out again. I spray a bit of hairspray, brush that out as well. And then I basically just find where I want it to go. You basically just find where it does this where the wave or the curl goes like over a kind of like a hill and then there's like a dent and then that's where you place it now in the front what i do is i push the hair up a bit to make like a little hill and i just place the clip right there and i just go down the whole side finding where the hair naturally goes into a wave or a curl. Like I said, this is not a proper technique. I basically just watched vintage hair tutorials and then made up my own way of styling hair. <laughs> because in vintage hair tutorials, you put your hair up in curls or you curl your hair, then you take them out, brush them out, and then you do this method. But it is obviously more proper because you're doing all the methods before. I didn't curl this wig. You can also do that method with wigs, but I did not curl this wig. I basically am just taking the easy way out of how to perfect the already there curls or waves. That's why I say this works for anyone who is new to wigs. This can really help perfect these type of wigs without immense knowledge or skill or tools. You do have to do this method usually every single time you wear the wig because they obviously are sitting and they get a bit messy so you want to brush them out and then do this method again like i said i know it's not proper but it's good enough so that is one side done as you can see it's kind of like hills i just apply some hairspray Now that this side is done, I'm just going to hairspray it too. Now normally I would do my makeup and take out all of this at the end and it would be dry and set, but I'm not going to be doing my makeup right now, so for this tutorial I'm going to blow dry it and I will be right back. I 
and in no time it is dry. So what I do is I take out all of these clips. It should leave a indent of where you put them and that is what you're left with. Now you can just shake it out a little bit. And so this is basically it, that's all I do. And now that this is all done, it's time to take it all off. Because I gotta show you how to apply hard front wigs. Which is way easier. Uh, well, it's it's way- it's easier, but there's there's like a catch. I'll show you, I'll show you what I do. Hard front wigs. Alright, this doesn't go for all hard front wigs, obviously. Like I said in the beginning, some have bangs, you don't have to do this technique. But the ones that come- The ones that come like this and they don't have bangs, it's just a blunt edge right here. This is how I style them. This may not work for everyone, obviously, depending on your hair color and what wigs you have, I guess. You can totally wear this without doing this technique. I have, but I've learned to do this technique and now I just, I, I don't go back. So I start off by putting on the wig. You can part it wherever, but I like to part it like on the side. So I push the wig back and I just part it wherever the part is. I part my own hair on both sides. And then I take out some of my own hair at the front. Even right there, it looks a bit more natural because my own hair is showing. If you see specks of glue in my hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> I brush up the front of my hair and like I said to the side but first because as you can tell my hair is brown like dark brown and not black like this wig and you can also see like bald spots so what we want to do is take black eyeshadow and dab it onto our head So I just do that right up against the wig and where my skin is showing so it looks more seamless. And then I add it on top of my hair. I'm just gonna clean up the edges a bit. And I use hairspray, trusty old hairspray. I just spray my hair and then I comb it onto the wig. And then I will add this clip on like a weird angle just to meld my hair with the wig. And then I do that on this side. Again, just brushing my hair onto the wig and then clip it. And then I just dry it to glue it in place. And that's how I blend it into my own hair. From this point on, I just style it the way that I did with the lace front. Now this one is way easier to style because it is a vintage wig. But yeah, anyways, that is how I style my hair front wigs. Or at least this one, because this is the only one I have that does not have bangs, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so now on to some of your questions. By the way, if you ever want to participate in any of these, check out my Instagram. That's where I hold all of them. It'll be down below in the description. Or... Just search up at Vocally Shook and there you go. How do you take care of your wigs? Normally, every single time I get up to do a look, I will pick out a wig and I will rinse off this portion of the wig with cold water because the baby hairs and just where I glue down the wig, it gets kind of crusty and gross. So I usually rinse off that with cold water and that's about it. <laughs> I know I need to wash them. That was another question. Uh, do you need to wash wigs? Yes, you do. You should wash wigs. I haven't, which is really gross. I know. I don't go anywhere with them, so I don't know. I guess that's okay. I need to wash them. I do. I know I do. What do you recommend for a first wig that can suit many looks? Color, length, style. I'd go for natural colors like black, blonde, red, brown, even like this whitish blonde. Honestly, style and length, that's a personal preference. I love longer, curly, wavy hair, so that's what I tend to shop for myself, but if you like shorter hair on yourself or you like longer, straight hair, go for that. How to put them on in general, best adhesives, or how to keep them in place. There are many different ways to apply wigs. Like I showed earlier, I use Got To Be Glued. This glue 
and this hairspray. I know that got to be glued does not work for everyone, so trial and error, you just gotta see what works. There are many other glues out there, uh, which I will pop up on the screen. There are also these silicone headband things. They are supposed to replace like using glue. You just pop on the headband, put your wig on, and then it secures it in place, and apparently it works really well. I don't know. I don't own one, but now I want one. <laughs> How do you star them? Well, I star them in the boxes or the bags that they come in, and I usually put them in one of my dresser drawers, or I store them in this. <laughs> it's just a basic bin that you can get from like Walmart, and I shove all them in there and put it in my closet. <laughs> Advice for someone who wants to wear them but are scared of others' opinion. Honestly, people will always have their opinions. I think it's best to say, who cares? I enjoy it, so what does it matter what other people think? Live your life the way that you want to live your life, not the way that other people want you to. And if they love you and support you, they won't make fun of you or have anything bad to say about it. But if they do, their opinions aren't valid, I'm sorry. I really think when it comes to personal style, if it's not hurting anyone, why does it matter? Trust me, you don't want to live your life wishing that you could have done this or that, so just do it. What's your favorite wig out of all the ones you have? I have a few favorites. This one. This one. This one. I haven't worn this since the summer, but I really love it. This one. It is more of a blonde, and I cut it, so I really love this one. I think it's super cute. And just this classic black one. Do you think it's worth saving up for good quality or making cheap ones work? Uh, I would say both are okay. Obviously saving up for good quality wigs is ideal and they will last you way longer. Especially if you want like a human hair wig, they are an investment. But if you have extra cash, buy a cheap wig. Especially at first, if it's your first wig, I recommend buying a cheaper wig than buying a $150 wig because, you know, not everyone has that cash and it's just make it work. Meanwhile, save up for the more expensive ones. Doesn't it get too hot wearing wigs? Yes and no. I think it depends on how the wig is made, I think. The first few wigs I ever bought, I wore one of them to Toronto for like a day out in Toronto and let me tell you my head was so itchy and hot it was just really bad and I think it's just because there was like no ventilation in the whole wig like it wasn't a breathable wig but like this one for example I've been wearing this for like seven hours at this point and it is not itchy it is not hot it is not uncomfortable it feels fine it really just depends on the wig where can I buy the cheapest human hair wigs? I don't know if there is anywhere to buy cheap human hair wigs. If you do find a cheap human hair wig, please do research. Please look into the company who's selling it because there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of scams out there, whether it be makeup or hair or teeth. I saw a couple videos like a while ago, like during last summer, of people who fell for like wig scams because they were advertising human hair wigs for like 20 bucks. So if you find these places that are selling wigs but like the photos look great and they have good reviews it, it can be too good to be true please be wary of those honestly if you want a good quality wig just save up as much as you can and buy it from a credible source <sighs> okay so those are all the questions i'm going to answer today if i didn't get to your question i am very sorry i tried to answer as many as i could i got a lot of responses so I tried to pick the ones that i hadn't answered already throughout the video and ones that i could elaborate more on. I really hope this video helped. I am not an expert on wigs, like I said earlier. I'm fairly new, but I love and enjoy them so much and I really want to share my tips and tricks so that maybe hopefully this can help maybe one of you that are just starting out. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps me out a lot. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.
This is so hard to show off. It looks like I have a puppet. I, okay. And my wig fell off. <coughs> oh my gosh. There's a damn garbage truck outside. I have hair on me. Anyways. Why are they barking? Who is calling the phone? Why does it keep interrupting me? Oh, it's a cat. Oh my god, it's a huge cat. Any tips on Hollywood? That was my stomach. 